friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Martina Lilly and today we are putting to the test the new Gucci liquid highlighter. I have been curious about this product ever since it has been released and I haven't really seen a lot of reviews or hype around this product at all. And so I was like, that's it, I'm buying it and I'm putting this product to the test to see if it is worth the money because it is expensive. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, go ahead and do the YouTube things like subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get into it. Alrighty, so I have done obviously my full face of makeup except for highlighter. This look will be up in like the next week kind of thing, so stay tuned. It is the new Odin's Eye Jewels and Gem Palette. I will link though like all of the foundation and products and everything that I have on my face down below if you're interested and wanting to know like how it's set on top. So this is the new Gucci liquid highlighter. I can't pronounce the French name and I'm not going to offend the French by trying to pronounce it, okay? This is the outer packaging. It comes in kind of that standard Gucci packaging, very cute, very pretty. And then this is the actual bottle itself. Again, very beautiful, very luxe. The product looks delightful. It is a dropper and it's got some heft, like it feels luxury. It has heft to it and it doesn't feel cheap. To me, anyway, it doesn't feel like cheaply made or anything. Product details are you get 15 mils of product in this little lady and it is an expiry of 12 months, made in Italy. Uh, if you buy this from like Sephora Australia or David Jones or whatever, it's about 89 Australian dollars. If you go onto Selfridges, it is a bit cheaper. It's about 66 Australian dollars. So I don't know why we're, ours is so much more expensive, but there you go. So if you have a Selfridges like shipping membership, I recommend getting it off there. Um, and obviously if you're in the US, UK or Europe, it's going to be a little bit of a different price, probably cheaper than ours, I would assume, because our currency is always the worst. <laughs> the description of this particular product is illuminating multi-use drops create a natural, radiant, healthy looking glow for a result that lasts all day. Expertly blended with ultra fine luminous pearls and black rose extract, this glowing formula cares for the skin as it provides all day soothing hydration. I mean, they always make these claims of skincare nowadays, and I'm not sure if it's true. I'll leave that up to you. How it says you can apply this is on bare skin mixed in with your foundation or like a liquid highlighter on the high points of your face. Let's swatch this first. They do only have one shade and it says it's a universal shade. So we'll see how that kind of goes. I think this packaging is going to be quite messy, if I'm honest. Um, this is the dropper right here. And it's kind of already getting a bit messy. And like, as I was kind of like putting it into like, pick up my product, it kind of like spurted product up and then it's got like product around the top here. So yeah, I do think it'll get messy, but you know, it's not going to be as bad as the Charlotte Tilbury ones. Let's be real. All right, let me do this. I don't even have any product on there. Look at that. Yeah, I think this is just going to be annoying to also get product out because I'm trying to get product in and it doesn't seem to be getting any. Let's see if I got any that time. I mean, no, like I'm only getting what's on the outside of the dropper. Anyway, that's enough to swatch, I guess. So this is what it looks like without rubbing it out. No filters or anything like that. And then I will rub this in. I mean, it, it feels very beautiful. It feels like moisturizing. It does feel moisturizing and hydrating for sure. That is it rubbed in right there. It has a beautiful sheen. It really does. Like, look at that. That is beautiful. It doesn't have any specks of glitter from what I can see rubbing it out on the back of the hand. That doesn't mean that there isn't. Remember the Kosas liquid highlighter recently? <laughs> but it really does dry down to like a nothing, like an invisible shade, but like it has a luminosity to it. It reminds me like of not the same, quite the same texture, but it reminds me of like the say um, super glowy gel where it's like clear. And so when you put it on the face, it really doesn't have a tint to it or anything. It's like kind of just like that sweat look, whereas this reminds me of that as well. But it has a slight more like, not in a bad way. Like when I say slight, just like a more like metallic luminosity to it, but with no shade. I don't know if that makes sense. I didn't use this as a primer or mix it in with my foundation. That's just not really how I roll personally. It's not how I use my liquid highlighters. Maybe if my skin's feeling extra dry or I have a matte foundation, but on the everyday, it's usually not how I roll. So I like to apply my highlighter after I have powdered my face. That's just also how I roll. So we are gonna test this product out, how I would normally use it and see how it goes. I'm actually gonna take it on a sponge. That's how I would normally kind of do it. I will actually disperse a bit of the product. Oh, there we go. I got some actually on my, in the dropper that time. This, I do not like the dropper packaging. I'm gonna say that right now. I wish it was a doe foot applicator. Uh, I'm gonna take my sponge and like work it into the product and then tap this 
where I would. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Can you see that? Look at that natural glow. That is impeccable. That looks so natural and it has not lifted any of my products. Look at how natural that looks. I don't know how that's translating on camera, but in person, I honestly look like I'm glowing from within. I feel like this is obvious, but like Gucci has no idea who I am. They don't care who I am. This is not sponsored. I paid for this with my own money. And if I didn't like it, I'd be telling you because it was expensive. Okay, I didn't actually, I have a Selfridges shipping thing. I purchased it off Sephora because I knew it was gonna come quicker and I really wanted to get a review up. So I paid the $90, ridiculously. Okay, I would tell you if I didn't like it for $90, let me tell you. All right, I'm gonna put this on this side, little on the nose, cause I like that. That is chef's kiss, you guys. Look at that. That's gorgeous. It actually feels quite cooling on the skin too. It feels quite nice. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Look at that. I like it. I really like it. Let me get up a bit closer. This is 4K, no filters or anything. Oh, I like that. Oh, I really like that. Okay, I'm very happy because it was $90. And that's crazy expensive for a highlighter, even for me. It does have a little tack to it, just a little bit. I don't think it will be bothersome though. Like, I don't think you would feel it. And I think it will probably dry down a little bit. Ooh, that is so natural. And yeah, I could probably see, let us know if you're a deeper skin tone and you've picked this up and does it work for you? I could see this working for pretty much all skin tones because it really is transparent in terms of like, it has no tint or color to it from what I can see anyway. It's just a ever so slight, like rose goldy metallic sheen, but like just doesn't seem to pick up on the skin. That is impeccable. Let's uh, zoom back and we will wrap this up, shall we? All right, my friends, this is the highlighter from further back. I'm obsessed, truly obsessed. I love this. And why are more people not talking about this? Why are they not talking about it? Because this is beautiful, like impeccable in my mind, truly, hand on heart. Uh, is it worth the money? Everyone's value of a dollar is different. Only you can decide that. For yourself I'm just here to tell you whether or not I personally like the product and then you make your decisions from there because it especially this one you know is expensive even I think that um, and I'm a luxury makeup lover my one con is the packaging I do not like the dropper packaging I would have preferred a doe foot or some or like a pump or something I don't like the dropper but the actual like look and feel of the packaging is beautiful it's hefty and it looks beautiful to look at but I just don't like the practicality of the dropper but everything else I think this is impeccable, truly. And if you have been eyeing it off and wondering if it is kind of any good or if it had like glitter specs or anything in it, if that was a concern for you or anything, honestly, I love it. I can see this becoming one of my favorite highlighters, truly. So that is all of my thoughts. Let me know if you picked this highlighter up or if you've been eyeing it off and what you think. I'd be really interested to hear about it because I honestly haven't seen anyone really talk about this. And yeah, if you're watching to this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate you. And I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.